Hey guys, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my romance weekend reading vlog. You guys may or may not know that romance isn't a genre I normally gravitate towards or at all really. It's Romance is generally not my thing. I like character driven stories or plot driven stories more than romance stories but I thought I'd give this genre a try and have three books I'm planning to read during this reading vlog. The first one being Red, Right and Royal Blue by Casey McQuizzen. This one is an enemies to lover story. It follows the Prince of Wales and Alex who have beef but then have to make nice because of the pressure of their families and the press is on them so I'm interested to see that one read this one because I believe this was the first one I picked up or was interested in and i am heard a lot of good things about it so I'm hoping it's good. The second one is Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Kristen, Christina Lauren. This one is a friend love interest story. It's about these two friends who have known each other since college and are setting each other up all the time on these dates and obviously things go from there. And the third one is The Kiss Question by Helen Hong. This one is about an autistic main character who is very very into maths but doesn't understand love and decides to hire a male escort to help her solve the equation of love. So, so my plan is to read this one probably first today. I do have a hair appointment really soon that I've got to leave for, so I mean, I'm not going to get to pick this one up before I leave, but I may read some of this during my hair appointment, although I do find it really hard to read during getting my hair done because of these, because otherwise it messes up the hair, but I might try and read them without my glasses. It should be fine, I still can do that, but it's not as good, but I, I think I should be able to read on without my glasses for a little bit. I'm hoping to get this one read today, although I do have quite a bit of things to do today, like filming my unboxing and getting adulting stuff done and driving to my mum's because my her Mother's Day present finally came and I'm excited to give it to her and spend some time with her. So I hope to get some more reading done this weekend when I'm at mum's so yeah but I will see you guys when I have come back from the hairdressers because I've also got to pick up something from the post office uh, which is my work jumper and pants that I've ordered from BW because I needed some more so <laughs> I'm also going to pick up those but I will see you guys once I come back from the post office. Hey guys so I've just come back from the hairdressers and the post office and I'm loving my new fresh hair. It feels so good to get my hair done and feeling nice and fresh and new. I didn't actually get my package from the post office because unbeknownst to me they've decided to shut on Saturday so probably going to have to get it next week sometime. I don't know when but we'll find out. Um, so I didn't end up getting my work stuff that I needed to get for next week so I wasn't so cold but that's okay and I also haven't didn't end up reading at the hairdresser because I didn't want to stain my glasses so <laughs> which was fine because I knew that was a possibility so I just ended up chatting with the hairdresser because I just ended up chatting with the hairdresser instead so that was fine but I'm going to do some filming of my unboxing now and probably get some of all the stuff I need to get done before I drive to mum's and I probably won't read anything until I get there or maybe just before I get there so I kind of read a little bit before I go I might do that and then go but we'll see I might have lunch and read and then go to mum's and see how that goes and give mum her mother's day present so I'm thinking that's the plan for today but yeah, so I will talk to you guys once I have read some more pages. I will talk to you guys once I have started my book, which is going to be Red, Ro Red White and Royal Blue. I've chosen that one to be the first one I'm going to read. So I'm hoping to get a fair bit of reading of that done today. But I guess we will find out and see how tonight goes. So bye.
Hey guys, it is Sunday and I'm obviously made it to my mum's house because different room. I ended up reading almost the entire of the kiss question because I forgot to bring my hand back. <laughs> so I ended up having to pick up one of the other ones instead of the red uh, red white and royal blue red white and royal blue is at home but i did bring the other two so i'm going to finish this one pretty much now because i have about 100 pages left i'm gonna sit down with my coffee and finish that i it was an interesting trip up to the where i live because there was an accident and pretty much a whole town was blocked off and traffic the other way. Luckily, I only had to sit in it for half an hour, but I I wasn't too fast because I didn't really have any time constraints or, and I did know that everyone in the accident was okay that I saw, so that was good. <laughs> Lucky no one was hurt. I didn't really check in yesterday because I was kind of spending some time with mum and just catching up with everyone. So I did get a bit of reading done and watching some movies with my family, which was always a good thing that I like to do. And yeah, so I'm hoping to finish the kiss question today, obviously. I only have about 100 pages left. I'm really enjoying it. I didn't really like the start of it, but it once there were it picked up I enjoy it and I'm enjoying the portrayal of Stella with her autism but obviously I can't speak too much about the representation because I don't have autism so I don't know how well it represents what I know about autism and Asperger's because that's what she's got in this book I feel like it's portrayed well but obviously I cannot really vouch for that so but I am really enjoying it more than I thought I would more towards the ending I'm enjoying it but I think I'm actually going to enjoy Red, White and Royal Blue more because I already enjoyed it more in the 50 pages I read so <laughs> I think that's because this one's a more of a steamy romance and that's not generally my thing but it's pretty, still pretty good and I'm still pretty enjoying it I'll just have to see how this the rest of this book goes
Okay, guys, so I just need to vent because I'm up to page 221 and so I've got about 70 pages left and I keep yelling at my book because why, 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 why did you make that decision? That's all I can say. I'm absolutely loving this book, but <laughs> one of the characters' decisions just right now just made me go why did you do that that was just stupid <laughs> but I get it I get it but <laughs> ah! it is the most funny book I have ever read so I'm loving that and it is heading towards five stars because I'm just so invested in this story and these characters these characters are just awesome as, as I said, I've got 70 pages left, so I'll definitely finish this tonight, and then move on to Red, Royal, Red, White, and Royal Blue, and then probably, hopefully, finish that one too. Hopefully. <laughs> I uploaded my video, which was really good. I finally did that one. I've got one more to edit and upload, but I think I'm going to do that after I finish this, because now I'm at a tipping point in the book, and what the hell, man? Why did you do that? <laughs> I just want to shout at him and throttle him for making that stupid decision. But, <laughs> just why? Why? But, it's gonna, it will probably work out in the end because it is a romance story and they've got to have complications. But, uh, <laughs> I will talk to you guys once this is resolved because I just have so many emotions right now. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just finished the Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating and absolutely loved it. I loved it more than I thought I would. I thought it would be just a fun read, but I absolutely loved Hazel. She's just an incredible character. She's so wacky, crazy, but refuses to change for anyone and that's what I liked about her so much. So I'm definitely glad I picked this one up. I'm liking this one more than the kiss quotient so I'm thinking I might pick up some more Christina Lauren books in the future because she did a really good job of creating a really fun, fun hilarious romance read and I really liked the ending it was really cute I thought that was a really sweet ending and I'm really glad I picked this one up so I'm going to go and get some dinner because I haven't had it and it's like 10 o'clock oops and then I'm going to finish off red white and royal blue I also think I'm going to really enjoy that one because the 50 pages I read before I left for my mum's I absolutely loved and I can't wait to see where this romance is going to go because it looks like it could be an interesting ride so I'm intrigued but I'll go and get my dinner and then I'm going to come back and read that. So, see you guys then. Hey guys, it's Monday, but I wanted to update you guys on how everything went over the weekend with my romance reads and what I got 
read. So I only ended up finishing two books, but I ended up reading a good chunk of Red, White, Red, White and Royal Blue. I'm going to finish that one today, but it was a weekend vlog, so I kind of wanted to just stick to that. I'm thinking that I'm going to read some more romance reads because I did enjoy Hazel and Josh's Guide to Not Dating, so I'll definitely be reading some more Christina Lauren, which I found out it's two authors, not one. I did not know that. And I most likely am enjoy will read some more of Casey McQuism because I am enjoying what I'm reading so far. So I think it's just the slow burn romances that I like more. So they're the kind of romance reads I will pick up in the future. But I think that this went well because it's definitely added a genre of reading to my books that I can pick up in the future so I'm glad I did this and I'm probably going to you'll probably see some more romance reads in the future but until next time guys bye